There's a fun event taking over the QCCA Expo Center this weekend, and it's a child's dream come true, or the child at heart. Over 60,000 square feet of bounce houses and other activities. And joining me now is the owner of Jumpin' Joey's Bounce Houses, Joe Van Heck. Thanks for being here. <laughs> nice to have you. You were talking to me about this. You're, you're really excited about this because this is definitely new to our area and even other parts of the country. Explain what is going to be taking place on the floor of the QCCA Expo Center. Okay, so this is the largest event we've ever done. Uh, Rich Miller came up with the idea two years ago and then COVID hit. So that put us at a pause. And now we finally get to pull this off. We've got 32 brand new bounce houses and it's everything from new slides to the, the hottest thing in the IAPA show in Orlando was there was a hatchet throw where the kids throw these little hatchets. Plastic. Was, plastic. Hatchets. Can't get hurt. <laughs> you don't want real hatchets with vinyl. So the kids were having fun. There was a long line. There was adults and kids. So this will be there. We've got, the, we've got this ninja wall, the ninja soar. Mm -hmm. We've got the wipeout where you have to run over those four red balls. We've got the four sports, the, the basketball, football, soccer. So there's a lot to do, not just for the little kids, but for the adults too. Yeah. The kids under four are free, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of adults there too having fun. Oh my gosh, it does sound like so much fun and, and a good way to wear everybody out. Uh, why did you decide to do it all under one roof? I guess it was Rich Miller's idea from the expo. Like I said, two years ago, he came to me. We had shut down, Jumpin' Joey's had bought Monkey Joe's, but after two years there, they raised our rent to 15,000 a month, which closed us down. Mm -hmm. And so Rich came and said two years ago, why don't we try doing this? Now Monkey Joe's was only 15,000 square feet. This is 60,000 square feet. I didn't know if I could fill it with all our bounce houses, but. Over the last three days, my son Gunnar and I and Elmo and a bunch of us, 10 of us, have filled that place up and it looks really good. Right now we have 35 up, but tomorrow we gotta put another five before the show actually starts. Wow. So explain your uh, regular business model. You rent out these entertainment. Correct, most of our business now is where we, you come to Five Points and we load you up a bounce house, you take it to your backyard and you bring it back when you're done with it. But we still do a lot of events. You had Dave Heller on earlier, we do the ballpark. So a lot of these, if you miss them at the Expo show, you'll see him down at his ballpark because we'll be there for 70 of his home games. Or I think we're only there 60 home games this year. Okay. So. What, uh, what is, why are bounce houses so popular? I just think it's, it's a fun event in the backyard. You can go to, like I said, the ballpark, you can go to Marcarta, you can go to the fairgrounds. We do the fair every year. It's just a, a good way for kids to jump and, and burn up some energy, yeah. burn up some calories. Unstructured play. Yes. Yeah, something that, you know, maybe is lacking. We're putting them in sports teams and other activities. And this one is just a free for all. And the latest one we have now, it's, a, it's called a wet and dry. So it's dry slide, but if it gets hot out, you hook the hose up to it, and now there's a sprinkly system inside, so it becomes wet. So you can have both wet and dry at the same time. They, that was the newest thing at the Expo show this year, yeah. at, the, at the IAPA show. I have to ask you about safety. So mm -hmm. people are renting these and they're setting them up themselves. Do you give them step-by-step -step instructions? We have a video they can watch, or, but yes, it's pretty basic. You blow the bounce house up and if it starts to rain, we tell people to turn the blower off and let it deflate and wait till it stops raining. Mm -hmm. As long as you adhere to those rules, there's not much danger in a bounce house. You yeah. see it on the news every once in a while <laughs> right. where a bounce house blows away and my phone, I get 10 <laughs> texts immediately, but that doesn't happen here too often. In 17 years of doing this, we've had one bounce house at the 4th of July. It stood up because the ground was so wet that the stakes came out and it came up, we put it back down. The only event we've ever had where we had a little safety issue. Yeah. So you use stakes, and then you probably don't recommend it if a certain a mile per hour wind, At right? 20 miles an hour and more, we tell them to shut them down. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Uh, so how do people attend? Uh, you can come 10 to 4 tomorrow, or mm -hmm. 10 to 4 on Sunday. 
It's free for four and under. Five dollars gets you in, and then there'll be plenty of ice cream and food there for sale. All right. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. We yep. wish you a lot of luck as right. well. Thank Go you. Ben Hope Heck. to see you there. All right.